Imagine a world so far away, so mysterious, that it blurs the line between a planet and a comet. A world that drifts between Saturn and Uranus, cloaked in mist and carrying the scars of creation itself. That world is 2060 Chiron, a cosmic wanderer, half ice, half rock, and entirely misunderstood. When astronomers first spotted it in 1977, they didn't realize they'd discovered something that would rewrite our understanding of the solar system. Because this strange object behaved like no other, it moved too slowly to be a comet, too irregular to be a planet, and too bright to be just another rock. The man who found it, Charles Cowell, wasn't even searching for something revolutionary. On the night of October 18, 1977, at the Palomar Observatory in California, he was studying old photographic plates when he noticed a faint dot that had shifted between exposures. That subtle movement meant only one thing. The dot was alive, celestially alive, moving through the solar system. Kowal measured its path and realized it lay between Saturn and Uranus, a region astronomers thought was almost empty. The object's temporary name became 1977 UB, but nothing about it was temporary. Its orbit was long and looping, crossing Saturn's path and stretching nearly to Uranus before circling back again. It didn't fit the profile of an asteroid. It didn't behave like a comet. It was something entirely new. Two years later, the object received its official designation, 2060 Chiron, named after the wise centaur of Greek mythology, the immortal teacher of heroes. The name was almost prophetic, because like its mythic namesake, Chiron was both one thing and another, neither holy rock nor holy ice, neither planet nor comet, but something in between. For a time, Chiron appeared unremarkable, a dim speck wandering between the giants. But in 1988, astronomers noticed something extraordinary. Chiron's brightness had increased dramatically. It was suddenly reflecting more sunlight than before, as if some invisible force had stirred it awake. The explanation was astonishing. Chiron had developed a coma, a faint halo of gas and dust, just like a comet's. But comets only form comas when they approach the sun closely enough for ice to vaporize. Chiron never gets that close. It orbits far beyond Saturn, where temperatures hover near absolute zero. So how could it be active? The answer was both mysterious and thrilling. Chiron wasn't a dead rock at all. Something inside it, perhaps trapped volatile ices like carbon monoxide or nitrogen, was slowly venting through cracks in its surface. Even at that distance, faint sunlight could trigger eruptions, releasing jets of gas and dust into space. Chiron, it turned out, was a hybrid, a bridge between asteroids and comets, and its discovery revealed a hidden population of similar objects. Astronomers soon found others, small worlds with unstable orbits between Jupiter and Neptune, some rocky, some icy, some even showing bursts of comet-like activity. They named this new class of objects centaurs, after the half-human, half-horse creatures of legend. Just like their mythological counterparts, the cosmic centaurs were hybrids, caught between two natures, doomed to wander between the planets. Chiron was the first of its kind, the original centaur, the one that forced science to expand its definitions. But Chiron's story only grew stranger. In the early 1990s, astronomers noticed rhythmic fluctuations in its brightness. It was rotating, tumbling through space, possibly shaped like a stretched uneven ellipsoid. But there was another mystery. Some of its light seemed to come and go in ways that couldn't be explained by rotation alone. It looked as though something was reflecting sunlight independently of the surface, something orbiting it. Then came the clue from beyond. In 2013, another centaur named Chariklo was discovered to have its own ring system. Two narrow, icy bands encircling it, like a miniature Saturn. That revelation changed everything. Suddenly, Chiron's strange dimming and brightening made sense. It might also have rings, faint and delicate, 
composed of ice and dust particles born from ancient collisions or outgassing events. If true, that would make Chiron one of the smallest ringed bodies ever known, a tiny wanderer adorned with cosmic jewellery. But for all its beauty, Chiron's orbit is unstable. It's being tugged constantly by the gravitational pull of Saturn and Uranus, two titans locked in a slow-motion dance that distorts the paths of everything nearby. Over the next few million years, Chiron's orbit will shift, twist, and eventually collapse into chaos. One day, it may be flung outward into the distant Kuiper Belt, frozen forever among the ancient remnants of creation. Or it may be drawn inward toward the Sun, transformed into a bright, active comet blazing across the inner solar system. In that moment, Chiron will shed its anonymity. It will grow a vast, streaming tail and briefly become one of the most spectacular comets visible from Earth before sunlight destroys its surface and scatters it into dust. A fitting end for a being that, like its mythological namesake, is immortal only until it chooses to transform. Because the story of Chiron isn't just about one object, it's about evolution. It's about how the solar system never stops changing. The discovery of Chiron and the centaurs shattered the old idea of tidy, separated zones. Asteroids here, comets there, planets in between. Instead, we learned the truth. Our solar system is messy, alive, and still in motion. Chiron likely came from the Kuiper Belt, the vast ring of icy debris beyond Neptune. Billions of years ago, gravitational chaos could have hurled it inward, turning it into a nomad trapped between the gas giants. Over time, it began to warm, vent, and awaken. It is, in essence, a messenger from the solar system's earliest days, preserving materials older than Earth itself. And then there's the mythology, that haunting parallel that makes the name Chiron feel almost fated. In the ancient tales, Chiron was not like the other centaurs, wild, violent, untamed. He was gentle, wise, a healer and a teacher. He mentored heroes like Achilles, Jason and Hercules. Yet despite his wisdom, he carried a wound that would never heal. When struck by a poisoned arrow, he suffered endlessly, unable to die because of his immortality. Finally, he gave up his eternal life to save another, trading his immortality to free Prometheus, the titan who gave fire to humankind. Astronomical Chiron, too, seems caught between immortality and transformation. It drifts endlessly, neither alive nor dead, suspended between the frozen outer realms and the fiery heart of the solar system. And one day, it will surrender that immortality, too, either by fading into the dark or by blazing brightly as a comet for all of humanity to see. Chiron teaches us something profound about existence itself that even in the deep silence of space, nothing truly stays the same. That creation and destruction, stability and chaos, are forever intertwined. When you look up at the night sky, remember that somewhere out there, between Saturn and Uranus, a lonely centaur glides through the darkness. A bridge between worlds. A teacher among the planets. Half comet, half asteroid. Half myth half mystery, and perhaps, when it finally ignites and casts its long tail across the heavens, we'll look up and recognize what it's been showing us all along, that the universe never stops evolving, and that even in the cold, eternal dark, transformation is the only constant.